here we go back for women's action. And here comes Dia Jax. The most dominant female of Monday Night Raw. Two weeks ago that she tried her best to become the number one contender to face Asuka at King of the Ring. But after when she's gonna do that power bomb, Emma counters it into a sunset foot pin. By luck. And you know Nia Jax dominated Becky Lynch. Badly. And I have been announced that WrestleMania 35 is going to the Eagle Stadium. Fuck out of here. It's going to go to the goddamn MetLife Stadium. <laughs> Yes, it's going to New Jersey. And sorry for the for the swearing. I had I, I had to do that. My my apologies, kids. Um and here we go with Amber Moon. Former NXT champion. NXT women's champion. Sorry. Taking on Nia Jax for the first time here in this one-on-one -on -one competition. And here we go. Kick. Five match carry as Nijax takes Moon down. Here we go with the knee shucks. Oh, that's a Moon. Uh oh. Uh oh. Here we go. Samoa drop. Oh God! Don't tell me it's over already. It's over already. One, two, three. Yes, yes. Like I said, she's the dominant female of Monday Night Raw in the women's division. And look what just happened. Oh my goodness. Now Nia Jack is stomping away onto Ember Moon after the match. And ladies and gentlemen, Eddie Guerrero, Latino Heat. The man that chose a ladder match for the IC title at King of the Ring. Even though they cannot compete against each other at Class of Champions, because Bobby Roode will be taking on the United States Champion, Y2J, Chris Jericho. Orale Vato, I would have thought my accomplishments would speak for themselves and that they would be unassassinable. They are, but I guess I should have realized that people would at least try to tear them down. You know what, Holmes? You know, I'm trying to understand what's going on in somebody's head who's been running his mouth in the back. I'm trying to figure out what makes him tick. 
I can't figure out what his problem is. I actually really love to see things from his point of view. I just can't get it out of my head. I'm not with it any longer. No one pulls this kind of crap on me and gets off scot-free. Now someone please get Bobby Root out here or I'll go backstage and drag him out myself. Latino Heat style. About there. And here comes the glorious one, Bobby Roode. The Intercontinental Champion. And yes, I heard that Eddie Guerrero will be in the 16-man King of the Ring Tournament. I don't know, I don't know about Bobby Roode though. Bobby was telling these fans to shut up. Sorry to interrupt your little sing-along with the WWE Universe, but I actually have grown up things to discuss. Oh boy, here we go. I know I'm going to regret this, so will the WWE Universe... Guys, I apologize in advance for this, but I'm going to go ahead, play along, and ask why you are here and what you want. I'm going to do you a huge favor. You're going to owe me big time because after I get through with you, you're going to be a worldwide, <clears throat> a worldwide tread on social media. Hey, how this for a hashtag? Nobody likes you because you are so annoying. Let's see that tread. I think you've been hitting the head one too many times because it sounds to me like you want a match. You're going to find out the hard way why I'm the best pure athlete here in WWE and here on Monday Night Raw. You know what, Holmes? I'm sure this is all looked and sounded real scary when you are, <clears throat> when you were practicing it in front of a mirror. But I got to say, this was something lost to that delivery because I'm not feeling a damn thing. Are you trying to drive me crazy? I need you to fight me now, tonight, right this minute. If you don't accept, I don't know what I might do, but it's going to be very, very bad if I lose it, if I snap. It's all on you. I can't be held responsible for everything of what you do it. You're a piece of crap, you hear me? Oh! And he just strike them down. And here we go. Last week, Bobby Roode and Eddie Guerrero was fighting last week. And Bobby Roode attacked them from behind during Eddie Guerrero's entrance. And now Rude, back suplex, onto his contender, now Eddie. No overlap suplex. Eddie, fisherman suplex onto Bobby Rude. Oh, for God's sakes, can't y'all wait till King of the Ring? We need a ref. Security. Something. These guys are fighting each other. Jesus. Yes, at the stop. Let this stop. There's Jimmy. We are back here for the cold meat event. And here we go.
Shinsuke Nakamura. The man who showed up last week during the Undertaker's match. Or should I say the match even before it started. But Taker just immediately made Samoa Joe tapped out with the Hell's Gate. But speaking of main events, the main event of the King of the Ring Tournament of the first round is Alistair Black taking on if you guessed it right, your champ. As the Black will be going one on one for the very first time with no other than the man that does everything, who risks everything, the charismatic enigma, Jeff Hardy. That's right. As the Black, Jeff Hardy one-on-one -on -one at the King of the Ring tournament of the first round and that is in a moment after Shinsuke Nakamura the Shinsuke Nakamura will be go one-on-one -on -one with none other than the animal Batista and no this is not another first round tournament as well this is just a regular match between these two that is all. So this is going to get ready. Entrance of Batista. Not that give me my spotlight, Batista. I hate that entrance. Sorry, I'm going off character here, but it's true. I do hate that entrance. I like the machine gun Batista entrance better that you just witnessed just now and a few other times. Uh, yes, ladies and gentlemen, it will be Shinsuke Nakamura going one-on-one -on -one with Batista. Let's see how this match will become for this matchup. Go. 
Nakamura. Tista. Oh, kick. Forearm. Mickey Nishi driver. And a kick. Two kicks. This dude's taking Batista down. Uh oh. Batista. Irish whip. Nope, didn't work. Oh, knee strike. After that pullback. And here we go. Oh! Flips him inside out. Uh oh. Shinsuke Nakamura about to do the. Here we go. Kinshasa. Cover. No. Rope break. And now, Shinsuke going with that knee. No. I missed a drop kick. Oh, here we go. This is going to hurt. He said, what count is the Irish rip into a running clothesline? Corner. Now it's throwing it in the head. Well, he got him in that chin lock there. As Batista wearing Nakamura down. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, jawbreaker. As he gets out of the submission hold and the kick right onto the shoulder. Nakamura with the knee strike. Wait, right, hold on. What is this? Oh! Takes him down with the knee drop from the apron. And now these two men are outside of the ring. Shinsuke. Ho! Oh! Samoan driver. Knee strike right onto the chest. A knee drop. And a single leg drop kick. There we go. German, no. It's just the count, is it? And a red breaker. Batista takes Shinsuke Nakamura back inside that ring. There we go. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Kinshasa! Kinshasa out of nowhere. Two, three, and it's over. Shinsuke Nakamura with the win. My God, that came out of nowhere. Uh-oh! Uh-oh, the bell has told the lights are out. Uh-oh, here we go again. Here we go again. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh. Oh, okay. Ha, 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 ha. What do you know? This is new. This is new. No, he got out last time. I'm not going anywhere or fight back. You know what? Let's fight back. I want to see this. I don't know what Shinsuke is going to do here. I'm on my character now. Wait, wait, wait. Shinsuke. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh man. Here we go. Oh, 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 I'd have taken strikes him down. God damn. Jesus. Here we go. We are back here for the main event. That's the black. 
on his way first to the ring of this King of the Ring 16 man tournament. Here we go. Alistair Black. I'm sorry, I'm not commenting. I'm just into the song. But anyway, Alistair Black. Goes one on one with the charismatic enigma known as Jeff Hardy for the very first time. This is going to be a great match between these two men here on Monday Night Raw. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna lie, I always wanted to see this match. Not on Raw, not on Raw, but I always wanted to see this match. Like on SummerSlam or Survivor Series or something. Last week, Jeff Hardy was in a triple threat match between Samoa Joe, I mean, between AJ Styles and Bray Wyatt. But Jeff Hardy took the loss after that sister Abigail. But I'm not gonna lie, that was a great match between those three men. And yes, AJ Styles is a part of the 16-man tournament, including Samoa Joe. Who are they facing? Stay tuned. Let's just focus on the main event. Jeff Hardy. Jeff Hardy has not been in a tournament in so long here in the WWE. Thankfully, this is not beat the clock challenge. And here we go, starting off. With the Manhattan drop, that is an old school name. Or shall I call it the front atomic drop? And now Jeff, double leg drop, right to the nuts. Jeff Hardy with the front face lock. Takes him down. And as you can see, Jeff Hardy taking control most of the match at the beginning so far. Irish whip. Oh! He's going for a uh, front flip clothesline. He got it, but not all of it. And now Jeff. Oh! Second rope dive. It's been a leg drop. Here we go. That's the black with the, with the leg sweep. No. Down is it, DDT. Knee drop. Once again, Jeff Hardy's taking control of this matchup. DDT again, no, knee strike by Ice the Black. Saito suplex. That's the Black. Trying to gain momentum here. Here against Jeff. And a kick. Batmere. On to Jeff. Yeah, he's got that submission hole locked in. I 
Punish whip, no. That's the black takes to the ropes, pulls them off. Black throws him. And a kick. Oh, wait, no. Jeff already blocks it. Kick. Here we go, Jeff. Chris of fate. Uh-oh. Here we go. We all, we all know what's going to happen next. Swan Tan Bomb. Is it over? One, two, three. No. As the black kicks out of the Swan Tan Bomb. So far here in WWE of Monday Night Raw, I have not seen that one kick out. And that's like it's the first man to kick out of the Swan Tom Bomb. Here we go, Face Buster. AKA known as the X Factor. Jeff Hardy standing on the apron on the, from the outside. Oh! And a vaulting cross body by Jeff. And now Jeff pulls Aster Black off the ropes. 10, 1, 2. Aster Black kicks out at 2. Misses the drop kick onto Black. Here we go. Uh oh, here we go with the blackout combination. Jesus. I cannot follow up what he just did. When I asked the black going up top, going for that coup de gras. Oh, he got it. And a kick right onto Jeff Hardy. Float over DDT. After the punch that Jeff Hardy gave him. Now Jeff Hardy got him on the shoulders. Send him to the ropes. I know Jeff is planning on doing here. Wait, here we go. Twist of fate for the second time. Jeff Hardy with the elbow drop. Pinfall. One, two, three, and it's over. I don't know why it's over. It's not because of the elbow drop, it's because of the twist of fate. And as the Black lost this match to Jeff Hardy. And Jeff Hardy will be going to the second round. With Rob Van Dam. And with Swan. But the question is, who's the other five people? Because next week, it will be three other matches of this King of the Ring tournament. And on the fourth week will be the other two matches of the King of the Ring tournament. Because ladies and gentlemen, we will see you all for Sunday Night Heat. Stay tuned. See you guys on Sunday.